Welcome. In this section, we would solve coding decoding problem. So, one of the problem that is given here is AT is given as 80, BAT is given as 320. What would be CAT equal to? Now, when there are questions like this, what's really important to understand is the cycle that we create from A to Z as we have discussed in our previous lectures, right? So, when we create our cycle from A to Z, either I can give A as 1 and z is 26 or I can follow a reverse order where I give a as 26 and z is 1. That's the two things that we must keep into account. Now, if we talk about the alphabetical order, a is the first alphabet and t is the 20th alphabet. How would we reach to a t here? So, one good way of reaching here to a t is I multiply both of them by 2, right? So, I get 2 and 40. And then I multiply these two again and I get 80. So I get 80 is equal to 80 is equal to 80. Now in this I substitute the value of 80. So this becomes 80 80 from 80. Okay. So now B would be how much? B comes out to be 4 here. But originally B is 2. So since B is 2 I multiply it by 2 again and I get 4. Right. This 4 what I get I multiply with 80. So 4 into 80 would give me how much? 320. So that comes the answer here. Now if I have to find the same for CAT how would I do it? Again 80 I know is 8080. C is the third alphabet. So third alphabet multiplied by 2 which gives you 6 again. Now this 6 I multiply again with what? I multiply this 6 again with 80. So 6 into 80 gives me 480. So my answer here for CAT would be 480. And that's how we apply this uh, way to solve the questions related to coding decoding. So this was a very simple method to solve coding decoding problems. However, in most of your exams where you have mental ability reasoning which is asked, if you have a sound practice on coding decoding problems, then you are ought to score good because usually there are one to two questions from this section every time. So practice well, prepare well. Thanks for joining in.